Hey, what's up, everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here once again. Today, I'm doing another edition in my series where I'm counting down my favorite bands from a specific country. I took your vote, and by a very slim margin, the votes went in the direction of England. So I'm going to be talking about my favorite metal bands from the country of England today. So just to clarify, I'm not doing the whole United Kingdom here. I'm not including bands from Scotland or Ireland or Wales. This is England specifically. I will eventually do those other three countries individually at some point as part of this series. I wanted to separate them for the purposes of kind of separating the bands into their own unique specific countries. So with it just being England, nonetheless, there are still so many bands. I have to leave so many great bands off this list. It's so tough. I don't want to have a list of 50 or 100 bands here. I limited it to 30, and even that seems like a lot. But I'm going to do 30 bands. If you don't see something on here that you love, it doesn't necessarily mean I don't like it. This is very tough limiting this to 30. I mean, go try to make this list yourself. You'll see. You're going to have to leave a lot of good stuff off. So these are just my personal preferences, my personal favorites. There's a few in here that probably would get knocked off if I did this again tomorrow to bring maybe a more classic band in. But yeah, this list is going to have some very classic stuff, legendary bands, but also a few maybe underrated ones that I just feel like I want to talk about. So nonetheless, these are just my picks. Let me know yours down below. Give me some that I've missed. I'm always looking for new recommendations. So anyways, I'm just going to get right into this. Here we go. Just cracking the list in at number 30 is a very unique band, The Meads of Asphodel. So this is a hard band to describe. They're like folky, experimental black metal, but I don't even want to just call it black metal. There's so much weird stuff going on here. I don't even love everything that they've done, but I feel like I just wanted to talk about this one. Because if you haven't heard them before and you're into any sort of like avant-garde metal or like a melding of different styles, Go check these guys out. It's very unique, very different. But uh, if you just want a really engaging, interesting listen, go check their stuff out. Up next at number 29, I'm going with Eliminator. This is a more uh, modern band. They play traditional heavy metal, kind of a throwback sound, huge Iron Maiden worship. So if you like Iron Maiden, definitely go check out Eliminator. They just have a couple albums, new band on the scene, but definitely worth listening to. I really dig some of this traditional Heavy metal that's for the modern age, even though it's a throwback, maybe not the most unique stuff. This band does it well. Go check them out if you have not listened to them. Up next at number 28, I'm going with Nemerus. So this is probably a very unknown band at this point. It's atmospheric black metal. This band formed from the ashes of Woden's Throne. Almost every member of the band is in Nemerus. Woden's Throne got put to rest, but this kind of continues in the same tradition. I don't think Nemerus is quite as good as Woden's Throne, at least not yet. They haven't even released a full length yet, though they only have an EP, so I'm going to really look forward to when they do release a full length, but go check out their EP, especially if you were into Woden's Throne and maybe hadn't heard of these guys. Um, yeah, go give them a listen. Up next to number 27, something a little more classic, Witchfinder General. So, of course, new wave of British heavy metal mixed with doom metal. Just a classic band. I mean, their debut album, Death Penalty, is an all-time classic. Pretty much had to be on this list. Could even be higher than number 27. But, yeah, I won't go into too much of a spiel about some of these more classic bands because I'm sure everyone's heard of them. But, nonetheless, if you haven't, go check them out. Up next, at number 26, I'm going with Solstice. This is some epic heavy metal mixed with doom Really awesome stuff. If you like your heavy metal epic, go check these guys out. Think like the Doom of Candlemas mixed with like even more epic than that. Maybe think of a modern band would be like Atl Atlantean Codex from Germany. Very similar style to this. I wouldn't even be surprised if they were influenced by Solstice to some degree. But uh, yeah, just go check these guys out. Really awesome stuff here. Up next to number 25, something completely different. Anal Nathrak. So this is another mix of styles, like industrial, mixed with grind, mixed with black metal, hard band to label. It's really like chaotic noise. It's terrifying and scary stuff. I'd say I gotta be in the right mood to listen to these guys. I'm not always in the mood to put this on. It's not really like relaxing music. It's in your face and uh, yeah, just chaotic noise. I wouldn't say I absolutely love this band. Like I don't listen to their whole discography on the regular. I'll put an album on here and there. There are a few that I like. But yeah, all in all, pretty solid stuff. Go check them out. Up next at number 24, I'm going with Skyclad. 
So this is probably one of the earliest folk metal bands that there was. Um, to be honest, I haven't heard every album by Skyclad, so I can't really say if they've changed their style too much over the course of their career. I have only heard a few of their albums, but I do like everything that I have heard, and I want to dive in more. I will at some point. But yeah, if you like folky metal, go check these guys out. Up next at number 23, I'm going with Dragged Into Sunlight. So this is another band that really combines a bunch of different genres. This is like death metal mixed with doom metal, mixed with sludge, mixed with black metal. It's unique. It's scary. It's frightening. But it's so heavy. It's like you are going to drown in the sound here. But it's really good stuff, especially their debut. I really like... Um, yeah, go check these guys out if anything I just said sounds interesting. Let's switch things up, go a little more old school here for number 22 with Cloven Hoof. So this is some new wave of British heavy metal, just classic traditional heavy metal. Their early stuff is great. Later in their career, they've gone more of almost like a power metal direction, which I haven't even heard all of their later stuff, but I really like their 80s stuff anyway. I feel like they're a super underrated band from that early new wave of British heavy metal scene. But yeah, go check out Cloven Hoof if you have not. Up next at number 21, another really underrated one, but a more modern one. They're called Ildra. This is some pagan, folky black metal. One-man band, uh, or sorry, I th actually, I'm not sure if it's a one-man band. I might be misspeaking, but one album that's really awesome. Now I can't even think if it's a one-man band or not. I should have written that down. But uh, yeah, this album came out a few years ago and really solid stuff. If you're into like pagan, folky black metal, definitely go give this album a listen. It's really solid. Up next at number 20, I'm going with Satan. Another underrated new wave of British heavy metal band, but they've kind of got more no more notoriety in the modern age than they did back in the day. Like their debut album, Court in the Act, was absolutely amazing. They put out a few albums here and there and then kind of went on hiatus. But then recently they've gotten back together and put out a string of really good albums. Just really catchy, awesome stuff. Go check out Satan. Up next at number 19, I'm going with Cradle of Filth. So some symphonic, gothic, black metal. Black metal being used very loosely, but yeah, symphonic metal with a gothic tinge. Definitely hints of black metal in there for sure. I do like a few of their albums. I wouldn't say I love their entire discography. I know it's kind of a controversial band as a lot of people that are into black metal kind of hate on Cradle of Filth. I get it. I wouldn't say I'm in really either camp. I don't love them or hate them. They're just kind of in the middle. I'm putting them on this list because they're worthy of being on the list. Like, they're a very influential band. I do think they have a handful of pretty solid albums. Maybe some that aren't as good, but nonetheless, I felt like they deserved to be on my list anyways. Up next at number 18, I'm going with Wode. So there's some modern black metal upstarts. They've already released three albums in a pretty short amount of time, and all three of them are really great, full of great riffs. There's great melodies in there as well. Just really awesome stuff. Can't wait to see what these guys do next. They're really prolific. They're in a bunch of bands, but uh, Wode is... Oh, the guys that are in these this band, they're in, like, uh, Heavy Sentence. But I think Wode is my favorite of all their little side projects. Anyways. Up next at number 17, let's go with some more classics. Saxon. Of course Saxon's going to be here. New wave of British heavy metal. Classic heavy metal band. Maybe a little bit underrated, like they never got the notoriety of like Priest or Maiden, but they've been around just as long, they've put out so many albums, and yeah, great band, not going to go into too much more detail here, but yeah, Saxon, number 17. Up next at number 16, I'm going with Forefather. So this is some blackened Viking metal, really great riffs here, it's two brothers that form the band here, and they just really know their style like from album to album their style doesn't change too much but i love what they do here i love like this style of blackened viking metal and it's just really well done stuff up next at number 15 i'm going with balsa goth this is some symphonic epic black metal these guys aren't putting out any new material as far as i know i think they're done but they put out six albums all together and they're all pretty great i will have to do a balsa goth discography ranking at some point but if you haven't heard them before definitely go check them out it's more on the epic side but really interesting engaging albums and yeah i, I really love them they could have been even higher than number 15 to be honest up next at number 14 going with fen so some atmospheric black metal mixed with elements of post black metal Definitely a similar band would be like Agalock. If you're into them, go check out Fen. Fen's probably not as well known, 
but they just have a solid discography. There's not really any weak ones in the bunch. It's maybe not the most aggressive style of black metal with those post-black metal elements, but I love the interweaving of acoustic guitars and they really nail the atmosphere. I really like them in a number 14. Up next at number 13, I'm going with Pagan Altar. So another legendary band, kind of underrated though, New Wave of British Heavy Metal mixed with Doom, definitely a big Black Sabbath influence as well, but then kind of doing their own thing with it as well. Their first demo from the early 80s is the stuff of legend, like it's just absolutely epic stuff. There's a father and son in the band at the same time, which is amazing. Like, that was just absolutely crazy. You don't hear that too often, a father and son in the same band, but it really worked here, and yeah, go check them out if you haven't heard them. Up next at number 12, I'm going with Dwaro Delf. Probably an underrated one here. This is some epic, folky black metal. This one is a one-man band for sure. They have four albums that are all pretty good. Think like Caladan Brood or Summoning, but then it kind of, it's not exactly like that, but there's a, definitely a lot of folky parts, some keyboard parts. And just all in all, if you're into that style of epic, folky black metal and haven't heard Dwaro Delph, do yourself a favor and go check him out. Up next at number 11, I'm going with Angel Witch. Another classic band that I do feel is a bit underrated, kind of got grouped in in that new wave of British heavy metal, traditional heavy metal sound. Their debut album absolutely kills. It's so goddamn catchy. You're an angel witch. You're an angel witch. <laughs> Maybe their whole career didn't live up to that debut album. They had some lineup changes and it was like a good amount of time in between releases. But then in the modern day, their last couple albums since they've reformed have been pretty good as well. Like there was a couple blips along the road. But yeah, go check out their debut album if you haven't heard them before. Solid stuff. Okay, now we're into the top 10. This got really tough. There's so many bands. But these are my 10 favorite, at least for today. So in at number 10, I'm going with My Dying Bride. So of course, one of their Peaceville 3, mixing death and doom, and then later a lot of gothic influence as well. Uh, the vocalist has such a unique voice, especially with his clean vocals, but really the harsh vocals are great as well. Turn Loose to Swans is an all-time doom classic, for sure. Just really awesome stuff, a long and storied career. I haven't done a My Dying Bride discography ranking. I know it'll be a tough one to tackle. I'll probably do it at some point, but uh, yeah, go check them out if you haven't. Up next at number nine, going with Grim Reaper. So another underrated new wave of British heavy metal band. Their vocalist, Steve Gremmett, was absolutely amazing. He did pass away last year, unfortunately, but man, they only put out three albums, but all three of them kick ass, just soaring vocals that's really the highlight here but really catchy tunes as well after they disbanded steve grimmett did form steve grimmett's grim reaper and put out a couple albums there as well but the original three albums is where it's at those ones are even better and just awesome stuff underrated band go check them out up next at number eight the man the myth the legend the prince of darkness ozzy osbourne of course he's gonna be on this list I mean, where to put him on the list is tough. His early stuff, I still absolutely adore. I, like, I love early era Ozzy. Later day stuff, eh, not so much necessarily. Like, there are a few good songs here and there. But I'd say pre-Zach Wild, I absolutely love everything. And even the first couple Zach Wild albums are pretty great. I'm, it's not just because of him. I'm not saying that. He's a great guitarist. But, uh, yeah, come on. Those first few Ozzy albums, absolutely insane stuff. All-time classics. Had to be high on my list. Up next at number seven, going with Bolt Thrower, Death Metal Legends. One of the most consistent bands around every album. You just know you're getting a solid slab of riffy death metal, like chock full of riffs. They're going to stick in your head. Every album slaps, just awesome death metal. Yeah, one of the most consistent bands around, one of the most well-known death metal bands, especially from England. Definitely go listen to them if you haven't. Up next at number six. Now I'm looking at my list. I'm like, how is this only number six? This should be way higher, but everything from here on out is pretty crazy. So yeah, and at number six is Judas fucking Priest. Of course, Judas Priest is going to be high on this list. Me personally, I actually like their 70s era the best. Like Sad Wings of Destiny, Sin After Sin. Um, why can't I think of the third album? Wow. Oh, not the third album, the fourth album. I'm just drawing a blank right now. Wow, that's embarrassing. But uh yeah, that's, they had a string of like three or four albums from the late 70s then into the early 80s that just absolutely kicked so much ass. Man, it's not to say their other stuff didn't. They've had a few bumps in the road, 
Not every album hits, but there is still a handful of absolutely great classic Judas Priest albums. Had to be high on this list. All-time classic stuff here. Up next at number five, speaking of all-time classics, let's go with the shirt I am wearing, Black Sabbath. Arguably the first metal band ever. I mean, come on, just classic heavy metal, doom metal, whatever you want to label it as, they have to be high on this list. I know they're, it's like an easy choice. They're such a popular band, but it's for a reason. Like these guys started it all. Every heavy metal riff is basically based on Tony Iommi's original riffing. Like he's just a legend, obviously with the original Ozzy era. And then he leaves, they bring in Dio. And then even like the Tony Martin era has some good stuff as well. Like, come on. I don't need to go into too much detail. It's Black fucking Sabbath. But yeah, they're in at number five. Could be like number one or number two any given day. Up next at number four, I'm going with Carcass. Another just absolutely legendary band. Started out more of like a grind core mixed with death metal, then gradually lost all the grind and went into more of a, like a melodic death metal phase. But yeah, just all-time classic band. Like I absolutely love it. Necroticism is one of my favorite death metal albums ever. Heartwork is one of the best melodic death metal albums ever. Awesome, awesome stuff here. I even like Symphony to Sickness is amazing too. I love the early stuff more than the modern day stuff, but uh, it's not to say the modern stuff is bad. It's just a different style. Great band, been around a long time. Awesome, awesome stuff. And at number three, a band I kind of name dropped earlier, and that is Woden's Throne. Atmospheric black metal at its finest here. They unfortunately only put out two albums before disbanding. But man, one of my favorite all-time bands based on only having two albums, Loss and then Curse. Both those albums are like 9 out of 10s at least. Absolutely amazing. Can't emphasize how much I love both of these albums. If you have not heard them before and you're into black metal at all, definitely go check them out. You'll be floored. Up next at number two, one of the best English black metal bands, Winter Phileth or Winter Phileth. I'm not sure on the pronunciation, but uh, yeah, atmospheric black metal once again. Just a solid discography through and through. You got albums like Ghost of Heritage, The Mercian Sphere, The Divination of Antiquity. Like their whole career is just amazing. They even put out an all acoustic album, which was pretty great too. I prefer the more black metal side to the acoustic, but I like when it's all intertwined as well. It's really all about English heritage and just one of the finest out there. Easy choice to be this high on my list. That just leaves one. My favorite band from England. Probably no big surprise here. Maybe this is an easy choice. Be exactly what you expect. But yeah, it's Iron Maiden. That's what it's going to be. I don't need to go into too much detail here. They're a legendary band. They're one of my favorite bands of all time. Of course, they're going to be number one. Like, yeah. I don't need to say anything else. You've heard me talk about Iron Maiden enough on this channel before. So yeah, they're in at number one. No questions asked. Anyways, these are just my thoughts and opinions as usual. Definitely give me your picks down below. Give me some new bands to check out. Hopefully you got a few bands to check out from this list. Until next time, Hammer Heart Metal Reviews, out.